Hello there. Suppose we need to find the Maclaurin expansion of the following function. In practice, it's not a rare case when we first need to transform our function, and only then we can find its Maclaurin expansion. Let's recall the classical trigonometric formula. Sine squared of x equals 1 half times 1 minus the vega sine of 2x. Now let's transform our function using this formula. So we have 1 plus 2 times 1 half times 1 minus the vega sine of 2x. And this is equal to 2 minus the vega sine of 2x. So we obtain the cosine function, and we know its expansion from previous example. Cosine of x equals 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared plus 1 over 4 factorial times x raised to the fourth power, and so on. Or in a compact sigma notation, this is a sum for n from 0 to infinity of negative 1 raised to the power of n over the factorial of 2n times x raised to the power of 2n. And this is for real x. In our case, we have the cosine of 2x, so we need to transform this formula. Cosine of 2x equals 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial times 2 squared times x squared plus 1 over 4 factorial times 2 raised to the 4th power times x raised to the 4th power, and so on. And it's a sum for n from 0 to infinity of negative 1 raised to the power of n over the factorial of 2n times 2 raised to the power of 2n times x raised to the power of 2n, also for real x. Finally, we can find the Maclaurin expansion for our function. 2 minus the vicar sine of 2x equals 2 minus this expression. 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial times 2 squared times x squared plus 1 over 4 factorial times 2 raised to the 4th power times x raised to the 4th power and so on. This is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial times 2 squared times x squared minus 1 over 4 factorial times 2 raised to the 4th power times x raised to the 4th power and so on plus negative 1 raised to the power of n plus 1 over the factorial of 2n times 2 raised to the power of 2n, times x raised to the power of 2n, and so on. Once again, this is for real x. So here's the Maclaurin expansion for our function.